A lot of you have asked me, Laura, where do you get this adventurous side from? Um, cause I mean, it can't just be like me, I guess. It has to come from somewhere, right? And I mean, sometimes it can be a natural occurrence in someone that has never happened before in a family tree. But in my case, it's actually genetic. I get it from my dad. And today, we're going on an adventure with him in a place that he discovered here in the woods. Because, um, believe it or not, we are close to some abandoned military bunkers. So uh, let's go ahead and see where my dad went, because like me, he got lost. <laughs> So I'm just here like, oh, where you at? See if you can spot him. Oh, there he is. Pa! Yes! The hola. Hola. <laughs> this is your first, um, your first cameo in my yeah. channel. My first appearance? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Como te siente? It's a wonderful feeling. <laughs> yeah, that's Olivia. Which we would have normally off a leash, but she decided to misbehave a little today. So I guess that's also in our genetics. Okay? Plus there are bikers around. Yeah. He's literally walking normally and I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> but anyways, so we're looking for these abandoned military bunkers. Um, I, there isn't a whole lot of information about them other than the fact that they were used to store weapons and bombs and provisions, I think. Um, probably back in the Cold War days. Please correct me if I'm wrong, I literally tried to find information about them, but there isn't a whole lot. So, But in a way that's good because... I like a little mystery. So, um, yeah. I'm not sure how much longer this trail is before we get back on track to finding those bunkers. Muchas personas en mis videos pa dicen como que, ay, que es riesgoso, que se yo. Pero si fuese por ti, tú cogerías más riesgo aún aquí metiéndote en bicicleta. So, before you come at me in the comments, yeah. it ain't just me. I'm actually pretty chill. <laughs> See, but it could be, it could be classy. I know. Easy to ride. So it's easy. Fun. So easy. I have ridden this before in, yeah. in a bike. It was very slippery. When it's, when it's uh, damp, all the roots are very slippery which it's damp most of the time. This yeah. is really rare that it's actually sunny. It attracts a lot of rain, this, uh, this forest. So at the end of this uh, trail in particular, there's the entrance uh, to the other trail. There are many trails here that are probably like 13 routes. Uh, huh? So uh, we're gonna we're gonna step outside this trail and step into the other one. I think it's called the Tablas or Boy Scouts. The riders have named the, the trail here. Yeah. Yeah. It is a really nice, beautiful day, and even though it is spring, um, technically it's the beginning of summer here because it's getting hot, if you can't tell. Um, but it really feels nice to be back in nature um, and to slow down a little bit because my last few videos have been honestly amazing, but also very, very adventurous and heavy. So this is a nice way to unwind. And also I will be unboxing fan mail in the end of this video. so. Stick around if you want to see that. For now, let's keep trying to find this freaking bunker. We've been hiking for at least a good 20 minutes and still nothing. 
¿Te meterías de noche? Sí. I'm literally going at full speed. And I still can't catch up with this guy. Here we go. We found the exit. Let's see. Ooh. Let's go to the bunkers. What way? This takes me back to the pandemic. We did this so walk. yes. We did so many hike so much hiking in the pandemic. Yeah, Good they, times. they were open. Yeah. So you think you're gonna get some activity in those bunkers inside those of those bunkers? I would love to. I do have some new equipment brought to you by my patrons, so right. I'm gonna put it to the test, but I this is not known to be haunted, but you guys know I've been to haunt like not known to be haunted places before, and they ended up being haunted. So. Yeah, uh, fire ants. Hold on. Yeah, a fire ant. This is not the way. <laughs> it's okay. Turn around. It's in our gen. See, it's in my genetics to get lost. <laughs> It's okay, we Olivia, don't get lost. Show us the way. Como fue? Olivia, show us the way. Oh my god, even the dog. No, like, it's not it's not getting lost, it's just a detour. <laughs> we came out of here. I dice no entre pa. Hold on there. Salida. So we gotta go up there. <laughs> and to think that you're the one who discovered this place. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll find the, the, uh, oh my god. See that drop. That's an easy bike drop. You think? Yeah. Yeah. You got a short. Scary, but. Short corner here. You need to brake fast. Eso parece como que el drop donde yo me caí me di la cabeza. Yeah. When it's we were biking easy. in the desert, you hit your, the side of your head. I remember yeah. that. It bounced with a rock. Yeah. So funny. I was wearing a helmet. Pa, estamos yendo where we came from. Sí, este, ese bro. This is a different, this is a different, this is not where we came from. Oh my god. And there's a jail right here, right? It's a jail. Um, yeah, that's a the juvenile. juvenile detention center. It's actually a juvenile prison. I don't think it's very smart of them to build a prison next to a giant forest because oh. if they escaped. They have a perfect place to head into. There's Fort Buchanan next door. So we'll get... They will get soldiers in no time. I don't know that they would deploy soldiers in Puerto Rico to go after a miner on the run. What is that? Blair, Blair Witch. Witch! Blair Witch? Look at that one. Where are you taking me? Okay, so technically we're in the Puerto Rican Blair Witch Forest. The more I find out in these adventures. This definitely looks like a tree Jesus in the Blair Witch. Christ. Oh, Goodness. wow. Which, by the way, there's 78 bunkers oh. here. We haven't found a single one. Okay. There's some concrete here. I'm not sure what it belong to but I'm on fire everywhere 
All this. What a pepper spray. Because I'm sweating. Como que se activó. So my dad un accidentally sprayed himself everywhere with my pepper spray gun. <sighs> Obviously he's feeling it now. It was an accident. At this point, we are an hour into this, into the woods, basically. We haven't found a single bunker. We really, I don't know where we are, to be honest with you. Um, I don't think we're like in danger. It's crazy how <laughs> this video was supposed to be about these bunkers. And we've done anything but that. But uh can't say I haven't enjoyed it though. I do like getting lost. And it seems like somebody has gotten lost either because of those gloves, possible markers that they used. Oh my, I think I see it. Yay, por fin! Oh my god. Finished! <laughs> That's what we just came out of. Apparently the bunkers are this way. Wait, mira. Bunker. bunker. Yeah, we, we, we were just basically in the wrong track. <laughs> so yeah, one out of 78. Let's see what's going on. Está abierto. Ah. Oh. Okay. It's not open, but that's okay. We still have more to go. There's a, there's a, there's a bunch of so yeah. <laughs> Next. Banana. There's one, uh, there's a ripe one there. But, oh my, that's a lot of them. But eso está allá arriba. Mira los sticks de tracking. Yeah. Don't ride over. Oh, here's another one. Don't but ride over me. It's closed again. I just wish I knew what year these are from. Definitely not the not World War II, I don't think. But I will say that this military area because this is all part of a fort it's just that this area is abandoned um it was constructed in 1925 so these bunkers are possibly from that era but um they weren't like safety bunkers they were used to store weapons and bombs um there's another trail I like how we went from the woods though to like now palm trees. Only in Puerto Rico. Oh look, mira otro más. This one's well hidden. That's a bunker? No, yeah. That's a rock. No pa, that's a bunker? Yeah. Look, that doesn't look like a rock. Yeah, that's a bunker. Nice and shut. Yeah. But oh, man, what a beautiful trail. Otro más! <gasps> this one's open! Yes! You're not going in? Oh, come on. That's nothing. Look at that. Ooh, I love that. That's amazing. Dale que yo tengo la luz. Mira, Olivia has guts. Look at this door. That's insane. That's original. Solid. Ugh, I can see the spores. Ugh. Ooh. Not like. Que aquí no está chupacabra. See if I can get this light up. Wow. Look at this, the, uh, the ceilings. What is all this? Ah, uh, probably some material for the horses. 
in the front now, but I feel so claustrophobic in here. Yeah. Like, it's cold in here, actually. It's cool, not cold. But check it out. So there was probably something behind that wall that they, they sealed it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Look at the lights. Yeah. Very 60s. Oh my goodness. I really don't know what this is. Any of my ex army viewers, please tell me. You'd be surprised, I have a lot of them that watch my videos. But yeah. Bunker! Technically number four, but you know. So claustrophobic, I love it. Mira, mira, no me entiendo. Oh wait, actually, close it, a ver. I'm a masochist like that. No sigue cerrando. Dale, dale. You gotta get that perspective. No cierra más. Yeah, I don't want to close it. Why not? Because it could fall. It's so rusty. Well, I'll just exit through here. I got, I got my tetanus shot. It's okay if I scrape myself. Can you just imagine? There's an apocalypse of some sort and they have to lock you up in one of these. What will you do? This is so heavy. Oh no, me imagino. Do you want me to close the door on you? Oh my god. Let's go to the next one. Solid. <gasps> oh wow. You could survive like an attack. Big time. Big time. Yeah. And it's not even underground, it's under it's a mountain. A, that's a reinforced concrete. Wow. It's like super strong. The concrete and look at the uh, look at the uh, the door. Yeah. So check it out. We found another one, but this used to be a police bunker, seemingly yeah. now abandoned. They moved. Yeah. Yeah, that's abandoned. These are abandoned as well. I wonder why. This one creepy bunker? Mira como han crecido los árboles encima. It's been a while. <laughs> Another bunker. Which, by the way, we have no idea where we are. Like, we don't have a. People are renting them. Fur. Fur. That looks abandoned. Yeah. Maybe. Another one. So uh, we ended up having to leave early because my dad was covered in pepper spray remnants and oh my gosh, these things are alive. So yeah, but honestly, I know my videos tend to be like crazy and like these bizarre but unexpected adventures and I love that aspect about my channel and life in general. But 
I feel like today's adventure was more just about me spending time with my dad and both of us expressing our crazy adventurous side together um, and getting lost in the woods. So I'm pretty happy about that and so yeah. Let's unbox some fan mail that I got in the mail. If you want to send me some... Vroom vroom. That's it right there. But uh, yeah. I have th this box is heavy, so let's see what's going on. What? I think I just got invited to something. <laughs> it has a letter on the back of it. Disco birthday party. La was here. Hello. We love your vibes. The channel is awesome. I'm a bit older than you, 56. I've been to Puerto Rico four times. Love it. I love the people, the attitude is so pretty, I can appreciate the beauty, the island is so gorgeous. Oh, thank you! Hope to finally meet you anyways. From Cleveland, Ohio, born and raised, lots of Puerto Ricans here, I know. I have not been to Ohio. That's all, hope you have more interesting places to explore and be kind to yourself love John. I'm not sure if he just used like the paper to write me a letter or if I am being invited to something but regardless thank you so much John. I'm glad that you have visited here and that you have enjoyed it um, and yeah but I appreciate you sending me a letter. It's really cool to hold things that somebody who watches your videos held. Next we have a card from Moses in Oakland, California. Let's see. That's two papers. We got another letter, bitch! Okay. Dear Laura, how are you? I hope all is well with you. My name is Moses. I'm from the Bay Area. And I have been watching your videos since during the early start of your channel. And I want to say congratulations on 10,000 subscribers. You deserve it. Oh my god, this was a while ago. Oh, and by the way, thank you for the encouragement to get out of the house and go somewhere, like you always have said at the end of your videos. I think you pretty much inspire me to travel around the world, so thank you for that too, for reawakening that dream of mine. I don't know if that makes sense, but yes, you have. And second, I honestly hope to meet you one day in person if you ever happen to be in the neighborhood. Of course, lol. Bueno, that is all, Laura. Cuídate mucho y cuida tu corazón. Moses from the Bay Area. Oh, and PS2, I hope you like the drawing that I did for you since you seem to like La Playa. All right, ciao. Peace, yo. Moses, you sound like a really chill dude. I like that. And I am very happy that you've been around since the beginning and you're still here. Check it out, dude. Whoa, he did like a little drawing of the beach. Bruh, I can feel the chill off of this image. Like Moses, you're a true chiller, man. Thank you so much. I'm definitely gonna put this up on my room. Um, and I honestly, what, looking at this makes me feel so excited for summer. And honestly, like I just can't wait for all the freaking summer content that's coming up, so. Thank you, man. I really appreciate this. Like, this brings a smile on my face more than you think. I mean, I, I, I don't know how my face is behaving right now, but you are probably looking at it. Um, anyways, what am I saying? Um, thank you so much, and I am so happy that I have inspired you to get out of your house and glow, glow, glow up when you go explore. That is the whole reason why I do this: is to show people that you don't need to have a lot of money. I have done amazing like adventures in my own backyard, dude. So, um, this right here, this is why I make videos. Freddy in Brooklyn. Oh, this is a little one. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Amiga, me gustan los videos. Te felicito. I'm not really sure what they are offering me, but they put their phone number on there. Um, I think they're making me some sort of offer, in which case I do want to thank you though, because he basically said, or she, that they love my videos, so, and that they congratulate me. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you watching the videos 
And shout out to Brooklyn, man. I have been to New York so many times that I've never been to Brooklyn. I don't know why. All right, let's get to the physical gifts. I know that this is from a man named Kevin because he emailed me about it. Um, so let's see what Kevin sent. Oh shit! Everything ghost hunting book. Bro, this is amazing. Oh my God. This is literally like a handbook on how to properly ghost hunt. EVP work, cleaning up the talk. This is really good because even though I have been ghost hunting for a while, I still find myself sometimes not exactly knowing what I'm doing. I mean, I've, I've definitely gotten better at it, but this is definitely gonna be very helpful. I cannot wait to go through it. Thank you so much, Kevin. Like, this is genuinely so helpful. So yeah, that is so cool. Oh my God, it's like Christmas and spring. But all right, we have arrived at the big box. It's heavy. Like, this is at least a pound or two. So let's go ahead and see. This is from Amanda, and I believe Amanda and her husband. Oh my god, you were not kidding when you said this is a care package. Have no fear, the Easter Bunny is here, wait, he's not slowing down, get out of the way, bitch. <laughs> I love this kind of humor. Anyways, a little gift package from two fans from Philadelphia, Joseph Wellen, Amanda, and Drexel. Oh wait, no. Drexel's not a person, it's a place. Um, Happy Easter, we love watching your videos. Enjoy the care package, love, Amanda. I'm, wow. I'm very glad I'm opening this literally, today's Easter Saturday, so right on time. All right. Oh my God, there's so much in here. Starting with, for the love of Philly, girl. Thank you so much. I haven't even been to Philadelphia and I already got some tourist merch. Wow, I love that. And I'm assuming that's the, that famous bell from like National Treasure. I think, don't quote me on that. Thank you so much. I actually really do need this, guys. If y'all are gonna send me a care package, always put alcohol because that is like the number one necessity for me when I go on trips. And then, how did you know? Like, you gotta be a legit subscriber, like, a legit viewer to know that these are, like, one of my favorite cookies. Or maybe you just guessed, I don't know, but thank you. I'm probably gonna eat this whole thing tonight. We are all in this together. Thank you so much. I've actually, girl, I've been needing a new bottle. Oh, girl. Thank you. This is, ooh, this is great. This is gonna be in my car, for sure. And even, girl. COVID might be over, but we still rocking them masks. I actually still use masks when I'm going to like a abandoned place that might be really like, you don't know what kind of things are flowing in the air. So um, the pandemic might be over, but that doesn't mean the air isn't dirty. So thank you. Oh my, <laughs> you're kidding. Oh my god, this is jelly, little eggs with jelly beans. Oh my gosh, you know what, we're gonna open one because why the heck not? I, I haven't washed my hands. Oh, oh, <laughs> Ooh, get that sugar in me, girl. I actually haven't had lunch yet, so. Mmm, happy Easter, y'all. Mmm, those are good. What? Actually, it's not over yet. Hmm. Girl, you're trying to activate my diabetes, and I love it. We got some cream pets. Sponge cake with butterscotch icing, girl. Let's try one now. Oh, it's like a Twinkie. No, it's not. Yeah, it tastes like a Twinkie. Hmm. Anyways, last but not least. Oh my god. Girl, I'm ready to save lives. No me joda. 
Oh my god. Amanda. You knocked it out of the park with this. This is amazing. It even has instructions on how to save a life. This is truly beautiful, man. That's about it. It's truly beautiful. What happens when you just like put yourself out there, man. And you're just yourself. And you encourage people to just live it up. I think people can like, I don't know, they pick up on energies, man. And then they do these acts of kindness that I personally feel I do not deserve. Not because I don't deserve it, but because like, I don't do this for myself. My camera ran out of battery, but as I was saying, like I don't make these videos just for me. Like obviously I wanna go on the adventures. Like I'm trying to live it up too. I'm a mad chiller, but I, I do it because I want to give back. Like, I don't want to live this life and not do anything for other people. You know, like I could go on and live a life that is, I guess, a selfish one where I'm just like me, 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 me. And I certainly have gone through periods of time in my life where I did feel that way. I think we all do at some point, you know, when we're young and whatnot, even though I know I'm young girl, I know but like when I was younger. Um, but man, life has a way of humbling you and make you realize this is not about you. And if I'm being really honest, when I started to make life less about myself and more about others and giving to others, that's when everything just started flowing. That's when everything just started resonating, not only with me, but with other people. And now I'm in a place where I don't ask for any of this. It just like, people just do it out of the kindness of their heart because they want to and i'm over here like oh my gosh girl like I, I i got it covered like you know i all these things i could easily get them myself but no like people want to contribute and they want to be a part of like what i'm doing and it's so incredibly it's a it's every time i get a gift i'm always like oh my god like that's so nice of like i can't believe it I'm not the type of person who's like, oh, you shouldn't have, you know, because I definitely do know how to receive a gift. I genuinely do. But I, I also feel like, wow, like, why me, you know? Um, and so I guess I really just hope that with these things that you guys send me or, you know, whether maybe you didn't send me anything, but you send me a nice comment or you don't send me anything. You just hit like on my video or even that you don't hit like on my video. You don't comment. You don't send me anything, but you take the time to watch my video. And there's plenty of people like that. There's plenty of people like that. They aren't even subscribed to the channel and they are loyal viewers. And that to me is, that is plenty enough for me. But the fact that people go above and beyond, man, it just reinforces like, it reminds me that there's real people behind this camera, behind the screen watching. People who are genuinely motivated and, and also to the peeps who took the time to write me letters for you to tell me in a comment is like so amazing like wow i motivated you to go out and explore but for you to send me a letter and tell me that that just hits different um so i really do want to thank you all like i i still feel like i do not deserve this but i definitely also know what it's like to be on the other side and being the giver and being so excited to give your favorite youtuber a gift so i from the bottom of my heart thank you and you have no idea how much this means to me and I hope that by showcasing your wonderful acts of kindness that I can definitely uh, give you that experience of like having you know somebody that's special in a way open something that you took the time to put together because I certainly love to give and it's if anything I love to give more than I love to receive so um, yes I'm rambling here but thank you so much to um, John, Amanda, Joseph, Kevin, Freddie and Moses, you guys are the biggest chillers and I'm definitely gonna be putting all this to use. I'm also gonna end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. I know this video was a little bit more chill than the usual stuff I do, but um, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm still grateful that um, I got to do what I love, even if it's uh, just walking around looking for bunkers and getting lost. Um, so yeah, get out of your house. Go explore, but if you can't, don't worry because I will take you through my camera. Because this is for you. This is not for me. This is to show you and to inspire you that yes, you can. You know, you do not have to have 
all of the resources. You really don't. Um, so yeah, see you next week. That was mad chill.